Happy International Women's Day, ladies. So it's that time of year again to appreciate and celebrate women. And uh, I wanted to go over some notable women to celebrate. No, they're not mothers or teachers or anything like that. Let's not forget to appreciate trans women on International Women's Day. According to Mike, it's especially important that no one gets left out or marginalized, as people of all genders gather together in person and on social media to discuss the importance of women and women's rights. Many made it a point to highlight the importance of standing with and fighting for transgender women. Some sites made lists of trans women to celebrate on the holiday, but I wanted to make my own list as well. We've got Rachel McKinnon, a trans woman who races both on the track and on the road, who won the women's 35 to 44 sprint during the UCI Masters Track Cycling World Championships in Los Angeles. Hannah Mouncey, who helped the Australian women's team qualify for the Handball World Championships. I mean, no one can forget this. How fantastic. Without her, their team wouldn't have made the world championship. Terry Miller, who won the 100 and 200 meter girls dash, setting multiple records for women. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. And then we've got Fallon Fox, who won her first match as an out trans MMA fighter, but hasn't been so lucky lately, but that doesn't stop her from being an MMA star and getting all the glory. So we need to celebrate her. I mean, trans women are joining women's teams and breaking records, dominating in sports. And uh, I can't think of anything more progressive than a biological male dominating over biological women in physical activity. Feminism has really broken another glass ceiling here. But uh, it's not just athletics. Trans women are also demanding that they take over in the beauty department. Angela Ponce, Miss Spain, was the first trans woman who participated in the international beauty pageant in June 2018. I've done a video on that, you should check it out. She didn't win, but nobody remembers who did win. The only thing that matters is that Ponce made history. No one's talking about the winner of Miss Universe. People just can't get enough of Miss Spain's huge progressive milestone. So who cares about the actual winner? And for the fashion industry, the future is not female, but trans. Most notably Monroe Bergdorf, who has decided to stick it to Victoria's Secret for only having women, cis women, because that's not empowerment. What is empowerment is having a biological male walk on the runway and grace the pages of a lingerie magazine. Move over, ladies. Obviously, International Women's Day is a day to celebrate women, but as we can see, there is nothing more progressive than to make sure we celebrate biological males on International Women's Day. There is nothing more feminist than pushing cis women aside and bringing trans women to the forefront. Yay for women. If you like that and want to see more, like and subscribe. And don't forget to press that little bell button so you never miss another video.